Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Michael Novello, and in this video tutorial, I want to show you how you make a shiny plastic material. Um, shiny plastic material, what do you need? Um, first, we need a new material, and let's change the color from white to a pure red. Let's just move these guys here down, and let's close the preview. Don't need this here. And let's just move it down and we have pure red. Okay, and what do we else need? Uh, we need a glossy shader because it's glossy. Um, it's reflective, it's shiny, and because of that, we need a glossy shader. And to bring these guys together, we need. Uh, mix shader. Let's just add this mix shader here. And now let's just have a look at the rendered result. Okay, it's not looking really fancy. It's uh, the factor is 0.5, so we have uh, half uh, diffuse and half glossy. It's not. Um, fish and it's not meat. So let's just work on this. Okay, at first we don't need the roughness this high. So just pull this down uh, with a really low number <coughs> and then have something like this. It looks a little bit better right now, but it's too reflective and it's reflective overall and I don't want that. Um, for this we have the input node to lay weight and just try the facing. Just connect the facing to the factor and yeah, it looks better but it's not that what I want. It's too... it's not it's too weak. Okay, let's just add another node. Let's add a math node and just add this math, math node here between the facing and the factor. And let's change this here to multiply. It's much better, but still not what I want. Let's just connect this value here to this so we have it's multiplied, the facing is multiplied by the, by the facing, so the effect is a little bit stronger. Oh, okay, but it's still not what I want. I want to have a better fall off here. And for this, I can use uh, another input node. I use the first null. And just here and just for testing connect it to the factor. Uh, it's not working so good. So we have to combine somehow the lay weight and the first nail. How we do that? Um, we just add here um, a converter, a math converter. And let's just this guy and let's, let's just go to solid mode so I can work fast on that. Let's just grab this guy here and just connect the value from the multiplier to the first socket and the first now to the second one and then connect the value to the factor. And now let's have a look what we get. Mm. Now we have something like a fall off, but it's not really what I want. I want a little bit more uh, something like a gradient, a uh, better fall off. So what can we use? What have a fall off? What is a curve? Okay, there's a scene. And now we have 
a real cool fall off here and think I think it's looking really cool it looks like plastic it's not a metal so it looks cool for me maybe we can um, can do something here we can add here a little bit of red color here more of red oh, that's too much now it's getting really ugly okay something like that now we have two colors here the reflection the glossy color and the diffuse color and I think that looks like plastic okay that's it that's a shiny plastic shader thank you for watching and goodbye